YPD is seeking more clues in their investigation into the Brooklyn Bridge assault on two officers. Today they're asking protesters to turn over their videos. The attacks happened at a protest over the Eric Garner grand jury decision. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer is live at the Brooklyn Bridge with more. Marsha? Well, good afternoon. The NYPD is now offering rewards to protesters who were on the Brooklyn Bridge on Saturday night and who may have additional videos of the vicious attack on the two lieutenants. Officials say they know the videos exist because they've seen them on other recordings. Even as you look at the video uh, that was posted on YouTube, you see additional people making videos, and you hear people yelling, record it. NYPD so Deputy Commissioner John Miller talking about this dramatic YouTube video showing protesters caught on camera assaulting two police lieutenants when last Saturday's protest at the Brooklyn Bridge turned violent. It begins with the lieutenants attempting to arrest 29-year-old Eric Linsker, who they say was trying to hurl a metal garbage can over the bridge railing. When Linsker resisted, others with him charged at the uniformed cops before getting away. It's a two-minute period that goes by where there's individuals that are punching and kicking our two lieutenants. Lieutenant Philip Chan was left with a broken nose, and both he and Lieutenant Patrick Sullivan suffering bruises all over their body. Linsker has already been arrested and charged. Now police are looking for six more protesters who rushed to Linsker's aid and attacked the cops. Police looking for three men and three women. They say two of the men were the key aggressors and face felony charges of assaulting a police officer. The four others face lesser charges. We do not take attacks on our police officers lightly. Never have, never will. And as police ask others to come forward with their cell phone videos, they say they will be releasing more information about the protesters they're seeking to question later today. What we're looking to do is release enhanced photographs of the individuals we're looking to uh, speak to, persons of interest in the assault on the two lieutenants, uh, as well as uh, information on rewards. Now, the rewards for the information about the persons of interest and for additional cell phone video are being offered by Crime Stoppers, the amount yet to be determined. Reporting live at the Brooklyn Bridge, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. Marcia, thank you.